Okay, guys, so I, I really, 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 really did not want to do this because I've been trying to save my shards for a year. But to get Armand's to do this fusion, I cannot miss anything. There's no room to miss anything. So for this summon rush, I have to get to 3150. And in the past, what I've been doing was I would just pull a bunch of green shards to get the points and I would have thousands and it would work out. However, we are just coming off of an archer event where if you saw it, I tried so hard and I got so far and I still did not get archer. I got second place. But I pulled a bunch of green shards for food to get points. So that is that that's that's why I don't have any more mystery shards. I, I've got 600. I could probably get 600 points in green shards, which is what I'm going to do. But the point is, I have to summon. Now I've been saying, if you've been in my streams, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've been trying to save my shards for a year because I'm trying to do an experiment to see how many free-to-play shards I can end up with at the end of the year. What I'm going to do is I, I have a notepad and I'm going to track my shards, total shards that I have, and I'm basically going to keep an account of how many shards I've used during events where like I really need to go for these champions because it makes sense for me to go for them, right? Because Armand is a champion that makes sense for me to go for him. So of course I'm going to want to pull shards, I'm going to have to pull shards. Okay. I don't think I could just stand on the side and let this happen. Now we do have a boosted chance for Duchess. I already have all these guys. I already have three Ugos. Rector, I don't really use. I just threw somebody in here. And I chose Duchess because why not have a third Duchess? Elva would have been my second choice because I already have these two. And then Encora, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start off with nines. And I think what I'll do is I'll... I'll just use gems at the end of the year to replace whatever I, I missed. But okay, here we go. <laughs> oh man, I haven't done a, a shard pull video in such a long time. We're going to start off with pulling these eight and then we'll do ten pops just to kind of warm the system up. It's been a long, long time since, since I've done this. But hey, let's, let's pull something. Uh, if we do strike gold twice, then let's hope it's something great. Okay, here's our first epic, and she's not bad. She's got a fat crit damage boost with her passive aura, or just her aura, I should say. Bog Walker. All right, guys, wish me luck. Here we go. Three more, then we start doing temples. Another epic, Basilisk. He's okay. Now we have our 25... X chance to summon Rector Draft. But we don't really use her. I don't think I've ever really invested and used her before. And there's Rector Draft. That's nice. Okay, now let's start doing our, our 10 pops. Okay, here we go. I feel like it's super close. I feel like at any moment I'll summon A legendary champion. I feel like lightning is going to strike at any moment here. I just feel naturally close to mercy right now. I feel like it's been a long time, so I don't actually know. But we'll do one more 10 pop, and then I think I, I want to start doing ones, singles. Because it looks so cool when you can see them come out come out of the shards on, on a single. When you see them run through that lightning. That gets me excited. Okay. Let's do a little bit of ones here. There's War Maiden. By the way, guys, who did you guys pull? Did you guys pull anybody awesome? Anybody great? I've actually been seeing some people pull Armands himself. There were two people in my discords that have pulled Armands. So they're contemplating, oh, should I even bother doing the fusion now? Or should I just take my Armands and go? I think I would go for two Armandses. Imagine having two of them. That's two tag team arena teams right there. Okay. Maybe I'm not so close to Mercy as I thought. There's the big big boy Kale right there. Alright, we'll do another 10 pop after this once we reach 80. And let's hope we don't strike lightning. It looks so much cooler 
coming out of... Oh, nope, oh, nope. Husk is a good champion, but, you know, don't really need him. Oh, I thought it was that. I, the, the, the pause. All right, let's do a 110 pop. Please no lightning. I want to see a single. I want to see a legendary come out of a single. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No Lego. Don't pull it. Don't come out. Don't come out. No lightning. No lightning. No lightning. No lightning. No lightning. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Now let's do some tens. Or sorry, some ones. And we should actually check to see where I am on the summon event. I don't think I've gotten that far because the values that you get for blue shards aren't that high. It's only like... Was it 10? I think it was 10 or it was, it was 20. 10 or 20, one of those. Who are some other champions that I actually don't have that I would love to pull? I would love a Harima. Harima is probably one of my top choices. Just because I don't have any defense-based nukers, and she is insane. Of course, I would take an Elva. Elva would be nice. And who is that? That legendary champion that summons Draco. He's another defense. Uh, Staltis Barksbane. Or Staltis Dragonsbane. There you go. Come on. I, I have no idea. I, I thought I was close to Mercy. That's, this is weird. I do remember the days when pulling even 30 blues was like an, was an impressive feat. Or like a, an exciting video. We used to get excited for for um, pulling 30 shards. And now it's like, oh, a thousand shards is like a normal thing here. Alright, no lightning, no lightning, no lightning. Oh, bitch. Oh my god. I got Kung Fu Panda. Guys. Dude. I got Kung Fu Panda, guys. Oh my god. What? Dude, the Kung Fu Panda has Enfeeble on his A3. And he's one of the only champions in raid that does Enfeeble. And Enfeeble is a debuff. If you don't know, that makes it so that the person who's hitting you hits weak. I think. Let me check real quick. Yeah, champions under an Enfeeble debuff can only land weak hits. We, now, he was a fusion champion that I did not go for, and I've always said this before. I, I, I always feel like fusion champions are more so heavily weighted than all the other champions within the summoning pool. I feel like I've pulled so many fusion champions in the past, and that's why sometimes I don't even bother doing a lot of fusions. Uh, oh, that's the dungeon divers. Where are we for the summon rush? Okay, we still need a little bit more, a little bit more to get to to this champion here to get the fragments let's see here um should i pull more why not let's pull a little more let's do another 10 pop who knows at this point we're just accumulating points there you go let it roll let it roll I've had some insane luck before. Like, I'm talking back-to-back -back summons. Alright, who's gonna come out? Any thunder? Any more thunder? It would be crazy if I pulled Armand's also, though. Okay, let's check the summon rush points. Get out here. Almost there. 2250. Might as well just... At this point, might as well just pull all my blues. I should actually start tracking my mercy system, because I, I, I never track my mercy. Like, I started to at one point, and then I just I stopped. And there goes my blues. Boom. Okay. So that was like, what, 50? So now I'm 50 deep into mercy. Something like that. And we're right there, guys. We are right there. Oh, my wife. Now, what if I pulled voids and summoned a Taurus? That would be insane. Because then I would have two Tauruses to provide even more backshots. <laughs>